Welcome to another episode of The Rundown. This week, the Navy announced more flexibility for GMTs in fiscal year 17. Registration is now open for the first Career Development Symposium, and we have an interview with Fleet Beldo on Seaway. Commands will now have more flexibility administering general military trainings in fiscal year 17. GMTs fall into two categories, Standardized Core Trainings, or SCT, and Command Assigned Readiness Enhancement, or CARE. SCT topics, including SAPR Awareness and PII, are still required to be completed by a specified time. Command leadership has flexibility in determining when and how often CARE topics are delivered. CARE topics include alcohol, drug, and tobacco awareness, stress management, and physical readiness, to name a few. Read the story on Navy.mil for more information or check out NAVADMIN 166-16. Registration is now open for the first Navy Career Development Symposium held at the Virginia Beach Convention Center August 16th. The symposium is designed to increase awareness of personal policy improvements and opportunities for making the Navy a career. CMP Vice Admiral Robert Burke will address the theme, The Navy in 2025, as a keynote speaker. All local area active duty, reserve, and Navy government officials are invited to attend. Check out our story on Navy.mil for more information and visit the website below to register. This week, our very own MC1 Julia Casper spoke with MPT&E Flea Master Chief April Bodo on Seaway. Actually, we have MC1 here today to talk about it. Welcome, MC1. Hi. So, tell us about your conversation with Fleet. Well, Fleet and I discussed the options that are available for sailors and how Seaway helps to retain the best and brightest sailors in the Navy. It's important for sailors to engage with their chain of command and career counselors regarding the Seaway packages early and often. She also discussed Seaway's design. Here's some of what we talked about. Well, what Seaways does for the sailor and the Navy is that it allows us to um, continue watching the health of each rating, the health of the community, and then it provides the sailor an opportunity to look at jobs that might possibly be available to them if they find themselves in a situation where they have to convert to another rate. So it shows them all the jobs that are opened up, the health and community of that particular rate, and then um, the scores that they have to have to see if they're qualified for that new rate. You can watch the full video on Navy Live and get more information from our story on Navy.mil as well. Also, you can check out the Seaway Quick Reference Guide by visiting www.npc.navy.mil. Finally, expect the active duty E7 results this week. The list of selectees will be on the All Hands website. And that's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople at gmail.com. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC1, Julia Casper. And I'm MC2, LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.